Well, howdy, y'all. This is Miss Kenny Costle here. I know I haven't been on for a long, long time. I've just been so busy working in the church. And my husband, uh, he just got promoted again. And we are just working for those crowns in, in heaven on the be uh, when that Bema seat comes. And I was just looking at some crowns today. And... Oh, they're just so beautiful. I so hope that these are my crowns. Oh, Lord, please let this be my crowns. Oh, they're just so gorgeous. They just express everything that I have done for the Lord. And I know he's proud of me. Because if he wasn't proud of me, he'd be disappointed in me because I wasn't working like some of those greasy gracers out there. Won't mention any names or anything, but I could think of a few of them. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to talk about how there are some channels out there that are really working for the Lord and calling out these greasy gracers. And this one that, that talks about infinite peer grace. I think her name is... Uh, Fiery Girl in Christ. I think I've had a few uh, run-ins with her. Uh, she's just so lazy. It's, ugh, it's so disgusting. And she was saying how you can't mix oil and water. Well, honey, obviously you've never made a salad. And... You use a little bit of oil with a little bit of water in it too. And then you put the seasoning in it and everything. Um, it kind of just takes away the real strong flavor um, from the, the oil. And it actually does help. So you might want to look into that. Of course you won't. But anyway... Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was this living by faith. I heard something that uh, a YouTube channel was talking about having faith but not having works to go with it. And, well, if you don't have works, I mean, come on now. You got to have works with the faith because our faith is what shows in our lives the actions that we do that proves that we're saved. Okay? And I know that kind of sounds a little confusing, but you know, once you just ask the Holy Spirit, he will explain it to you perfectly that what I'm saying is true and you need to follow what I say. Uh, because I have been a believer for 50 years, and I know what I'm talking about. You don't need to look it up or anything like that. Just listen to Miss Kenny Costle here, okay? Now, the other thing is that there are some people that want to take uh, James and say that he is not the book that we need to follow to live the Christian life. That is just absurd. Absolutely absurd. Because James 2 is how we live the Christian life, people. Okay? That is the way. He was the Lord's brother. You cannot mess with the Lord's brother. Okay? He was next in line. But, obviously, he's not the true Christ. But he was his right-hand man, you know. Um, so we need to take that in consideration. And then also, you know, they're talking about how, you know, uh, Galatians is how we live the Christian life. You know, uh, it goes, uh, uh, so see if I can remember here. Uh, Galatians 2, 19 through 21, I through the law died to the law. I don't quite understand that. Um, because, we, you know, we, why would we not have the Ten Commandments then? You know, or why do we have the Ten Commandments then? 
So they're so 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 confusing. And then uh I'm crucified with Christ. Well, isn't that a little uh arrogant? I mean, Christ was the one that was crucified, not you. And you died in your flesh. Well, aren't you alive? I mean, seriously. It it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. Uh, so, this is just all mumble jumble. Um, and then, of course, you know, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Well, I know I'm saved because I do the Lord's work. You stupid grace of greaser. Greasy gracer. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> so, you got to follow James 2. If you don't follow James 2, you're going to end out in outer, outer darkness, okay? Or at least you're going to get into the, to heaven by the skin of your teeth. You have to do the work. Because Christ, being a Christian is not easy. It's hard. And you have to really want it in your heart to not sin and to, and to, uh, uh, to be a child of God. And, you know, you can't just sit and rest like these greasy graces are trying to tell you can. That's just the whole point of working. We got to work. We can't be lazy. Bible talks about laziness all the time. You know. And I think it's just so disgusting that these lazy people are just resting and, and thinking that they're complete in Christ. And oh my gosh. Lord help me. Well. I will just continue to dream about my beautiful crowns while well, they'll probably end up be carrying in my bag that up you know up at the beam of sleep and they'll be just in sorrow wishing that they had done so much more for the lord meanwhile i'll be in my mansion with all my crowns right up on the wall <laughs> all right now get to work